Hi, I'm Michael from engineerdog.com, and this is a quick video to show you the intricacies of the design of the simple sumo robot. So, I'm going to start with how to remove the blade. It's got this long tongue down here. You hold it, the uh, sumo in your right hand like this, and you take your other hand and pinch here. Just like that. It's flying off or whatever, but that was actually <laughs> that was one of the most difficult things to design on this thing is to get is to get that right. Uh, so let's see, to put it back on, you, uh, you, you hinge it over one corner. Let's see. Just like doing it, because I'm trying to show you. You hinge it over one corner, and then you give it a squeeze, and just like that. So it's, it's pop, and it doesn't matter which corner you do. Uh, it comes off just like that. Uh, and like I said, that was to, it has to feel kind of loose like that, so that the buttons react the way that they're supposed to. You can kind of feel it clicking. That's when it's working properly. Um, what's next? Um, the roof. You want to take the cover off. There's a hole back here that's made for accessing the USB. I'll just stick my finger in there and pull straight up. Just like that. I kind of use my other finger to stabilize the cover, like right there. But um, let's see, if you want to put it back on, you can just kind of put it over two sides and, and just kind of, there, just like that. Just squeeze it back on, it stays nice and flat. That's the cover, and that's the same for any blade and any cover, uh, by the way. So, if we want to change the battery, you put your finger in this hole, and you pull up. And I, I actually have the um, battery cord tucked underneath the rear hatch. It's nice, I've had a lot of kids playing with these at like Maker Faire and such, so that kind of is a strain relief, but you don't have to go down there, actually. You could just kind of kind of go on top. But, you, know, you pull it out and you just, just pull it out like that. Change your battery, you know, but always this, um, I don't know, the cable end has to be on this side of the robot, the right side. And I you my robot orientation is um, uh, you look down on the robot, uh, that's the right direction, that's the left direction, that's forward direction. That's that's the uh, orientations I use when I talk about it in my writing so the battery lasts this is a rechargeable 9 volt it only suits 9 volts you don't have to be rechargeable this is 600 milliamps lithium lithium ion battery it lasts two to three hours uh, it depends if you're running them constantly uh, like I said at Maker Faire these things were just running way more th frequently than they're intended to like a match is only supposed to last like less than three minutes probably more like 60 seconds for a typical one but um, we just had them running all day, and they got really warm, but they held up. So that's something that you can do if you want to. Um, let's see. The, so yeah, that's the rear hatch. It just kind of slides up, up, up and down like that. It's kind of helping hold in the uh, rear IR sensor as well. And then let's take a look at the tires. So to take the wheel, the plastic, the blue plastic part off, you have to use a tiny screwdriver to undo it. Um, but the tire, the rubber itself, you just kind of like put one finger here and the other finger can just like pry it off just like that. It's a flexible material. Um, same thing, reverse order to put it back on. You just kind of just like that. Um, what else? A look at the underside. So this is the three IR sensors that it uses to detect the edge and it works by it's actually two little LEDs. Uh, one of them emits an infrared light and the other one is covered in a little black coating and it it's detecting. It's trying to seek if there is see if there is any IR coming in. The white surface of the sumo ring reflects it and the black surface absorbs it. So that's how it knows it's over the edge. And now what's kind of cool about these, let's see, if I plug this guy in, his default setting is weird, it's, it just goes. Um, but you can't see that the lights are on because they're, they're infrared, they're the, a wavelength that's not visible to the naked eye. But if I put my phone camera, it can pick it up, can pick up IR. So if I plug it in, it's just kind of cool. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. I got a camera and a camera. Maybe I can attach a picture. Anyway, you can see that the, the lights are shining. That. 
And that's actually how a lot of people make DIY night vision goggles with IR and camera technology. It's kind of cool. And then the robot sees with its ultrasonic sensor in the front. So it's kind of the same idea as that, but it uses sound instead of light. Um, it's just like a bat's um, echolocation. So there's an emitter and it's just a high frequency sound wave. And it, touches, it bounces off stuff and it goes back into this receiver. And if it bounces off of a hard surface, it comes back, it can actually time how long the signal took to come back and it knows how far it is and that's how it works but if the item that it was detecting was soft it'll the sound waves will be absorbed and they won't come back and uh, it won't detect it so that's actually a way we used to, to design an invisibility cloak i'll show you so this thing loves my phone but it can't see the phone The total range of an ultrasonic sensor is between 2 centimeters and 3 meters, and you can alter how much range you want the Sumo to react to in the software really easily. Um, for my purposes, I mean the ring is only 60 centimeters long, uh, you don't want it to go farther than that. And I had it even shorter because I had a lot of, you have a lot of people outside the ring that just kind of tuck up on it and they don't understand that they're, you know, they're tricking the Sumo robot. And that's everything you need to know to use the simple sumo and be dangerous. Have fun. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like this, if you want to see more, if you have questions, and I'll answer them. Thanks for watching.